And the handoff to Atlantis' onboard computers. Atlantis now in control of the countdown. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Control Atlantis. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin, seated down on the mid-deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta's traveling 3,200 miles an hour. The propulsion officer in mission control reports that the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on the afterburners. Copy two engine down. Atlantis flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining about a half a ton of fuel per second from the large fuel tank. Coming up on the three minute mark into the flight, Atlantis 46 miles in altitude, 81 miles downrange, traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour. Atlantis speeding straight as an arrow toward its date with the International Space Station Wednesday morning. Three and a half minutes into the flight, all of Atlantis' systems functioning by the book. 55 miles in altitude, 120 miles downrange, traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. Atlantis, negative return. Atlantis copies, negative return. Atlantis now too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. All three engines performing perfectly. 4 minutes 20 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now 62 miles in altitude, 180 miles downrange, traveling almost 6,000 miles an hour. All systems perf uh, performing normally, Atlantis on course, on track, 
for its preliminary orbit. The environmental systems officer reports a good flash of apparator system activated for Atlantis, providing cooling for the shuttle's avionics until the payload bay doors are opened about an hour and a half into the flight. Main engine cutoff confirmed by the booster officer, standing by for external tank separation. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation, Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. Commander Charlie Hobaugh will now maneuver Atlantis so that cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still and video cameras to capture handheld imagery of the tank for downlink a few hours from now. A flawless climb to orbit for the shuttle Atlantis and its six crew members en route now to the International Space Station. And we'll see you there, Scorch. Hey, Fergie, for uh, 